Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I want to go over the Red Energy Rover 40 amp or 20 amp MPPT charge controller, the operating software that you'll want to download from redenergy.com. Um, the first thing you want to do is go there to their website, click on the Learn, scroll down on the Learn tab, um, scroll down to Downloads, double click on that. And you'll want to go through all the stuff. Down here are the software downloads. You'll need to have a zip reader or a um, so it can extract all the files because they are come compressed. The middle one is it. Uh, double click on that. Save as to your target, wherever you want your target at. I'm going to speed this up a little bit or else it'll take a long time. What you'll get is the solar station monitor zip package. What you want to do is you want to go to right click on it, go to extract all, and once you extract all, this um, folder will come up, um, solar station monitor folder. What I did was I read this one, the read me, it's just a simple text, um, and then you'll want to, when you click on that, when it says read me, it'll go over here, uh, if you guys want to stop and pause the video and read it, um, long story short on what it tells you to do is go over to here. This is your solar station monitor, your, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Shortcut. That's what that is. Shortcut. I had a little bit. <laughs> forgot. Um, and then you want to go to your compatibility tab and run this program as administrator. Make sure this is clicked on. Um, mine is clicked on, so I went down there. Um, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna actually turn on the program itself. Um, mine, that's what it looks like. Yes, I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna double click on this, and this is what's gonna happen. It'll come up. Every time this will happen. So you click yes. Um, as they give you two choices right here. It's either administrator or it's guest. <clears throat> With administrator, you don't, you need a password. The guest, you do not. So if you type in, or if you click guest, it'll just, just click login and you'll be fine. <laughs> if you're administrator, you need a password. The default password is six number one. So one, 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 one. No space, of course. Um, so let me log in with my password that I changed. Um, oh no, shucks. <laughs> Having a phone in front of my face is kind of hard to type with one hand and everything else. Okay, so this is what comes up. Um, the problem I was having is, um, let me see. This is the software package that comes up. When you go to your original, where you unzipped it from, you'll want to go to your PC software instruction. Um, let me grab this ring to the top for you guys. It'll walk you through step by step. Real nice and easy how to get through this and everything else. Um, and that's where it talked about also the properties of the right click on it, make sure that your administrator, some programs are different than others. Um, some operating systems, I should say, and run it as administrator. Then you'll install the driver, then the software works. Um, what, what I did not realize was I didn't, uh, install those drivers, just double click on them and drive this one and drive this one. Uh, now digressing, segueing off or whatever you want to call it. When I did that, I knew this one was, I knew this one installed correctly when I, cause I was in the middle of doing something. I double clicked on it. I don't know if this setup, this one worked or not. I just clicked on it because I'm kind of computer savvy in a few things. Um, just enough to make me dangerous, I should say. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So uh, I didn't really do it, but it worked. And then what, I was, what was coming across was these communications. I could not, even though it's plugged in there, I could not get any communications besides this number 11. And with this number 11, I knew that it wasn't right. Um, so it just won't happen. So I went over to the communication tab and I went port configuration and nothing was showing up like this. I mean, it was, this was coming up blank and everything else. So then I installed the, the drivers. So I tried calling them at RENG and they weren't available. It was after they had closed and everything else when I was setting this up and just had to stop and breathe and take a walk and <laughs> not, not really a walk, just kind of leave the, see how the kids were doing, I should say. Um, what you want to do is once you click on that, it'll refresh all stations. These will turn off and they'll turn back on and they'll figure out which ones work or not. Then you'll want to figure out your uh, port configuration. And if it's not, if this one wasn't there, when I refreshed it, this one came up. So then I went, I shared it over here and went, okay. And I clicked it. And then after that, then I went to um, parameter, device parameter. And I wanted to, now that I knew this, this name here wasn't here, Rover 1 or whatever you want to name it, was not there. It just came up COM3, um, comma 90, 9600. So when I went to here to find that ID, because that's your actual ID stuff, well, your name of your ID, um, see, I went to there, and then I clicked there, and I wanted to see what the ID was, so I found out it was number one. So I pushed set ID, I went, close this out, and then I went over back to communication, and I went to add station. And this is where I made my station name of Rover One. So I type in Rover One in case I get another one. Uh, device ID, because I did not know that number at that time. It was number one, which I just made from the parameter and dropped down and went to there. And then the port is, it'll come up 3 and 9600. Battery type gel, voltage, whatever. Um, then you go to add. And once you do that, then the rover one came up and I was like, right on, sweet. Um, so then I had to, um, let me think, control parameter. I wanted to go back over here to set it up. Uh, went to rover one It found everything out. Um, my type of my was not a, a flooded or a sealed, it was a gel. So I click on the gel, my amp hours is 98, but I'm just gonna put 100 on there. And I went down to here to update. Oops, I have to read it. And I have to update it. And parameter set successfully. Okay. Um, and I believe once those things, yeah, because this is your load for like the load, um, load out for the 12 volt. Uh, you can figure out how to do that, but that will, this is it for the next video. So I'm going to stop that right here. Um, thanks for watching guys. Hello to my new subscribers. Hello my old ones. If you're not a subscriber, why don't you guys go ahead and do so. Um, if you have any questions or comments or have any problems, um, they do have a really, I heard they have a really good one hunter number and stuff, but their stuff is set up so good on their, um, stuff, just a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, um, it's kind of like osmosis kind of works comes to you um you can figure it out i mean this is set up for easy pr people that have no no um computer knowledge really or they don't have any uh solar panels experience um you guys can do this i i bet you money you guys can do this so thanks again for watching guys um i hope you guys become a subscriber if you're, if you're just checking this out now um have a merry christmas guys Bye.